In this video, we will learn how to write the equation of a parabola given any two of the following, vertex, focus, or directrix. All right, number three. It's all about doing a quick sketch. So, all right, um, the vertex is zero comma zero. So there's the vertex. The focus is negative four comma zero. <clears throat> so one, two, three, four. All right, here is the focus. That means the parabola is facing to the left. All right, because it's got to wrap around that focus. So the fact that it is facing to the left means that this, uh, the y is squared. So we've got a y squared is equal to 4p times x situation. Because the vertex is 0 comma 0, I knew it would just be y squared and x and not y plus 3 or something like that. OK, um, so we just need to know what 4p is. Well, um, the p is 1, 2, 3, 4. The p is negative 4. So if I put in negative 4 right now, all right, that's going to make this become negative 16. So that's why I'm going to have y squared is equal to negative 16 x. And it makes sense that it would be negative because it's going to the left. All right, number four, we're given the vertex and <clears throat> the directrix. Again, let's draw a quick sketch. <clears throat> now, the vertex is at 3, 7. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So here's the vertex. Now, um, the directrix is x equals 5. So let's see. <clears throat> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. x equals 5 is a vertical line at 5. So here's my directrix. All right, well, you know that the um, parabola has to be facing away from the directrix. So if the directrix is to the right of the vertex, then the parabola must be facing to the left. So again, it's a sideways parabola, so I know the y value is going to be squared. But this time, the vertex is not 0, 0. So that 7y value is going to come in right now. And this 3x value is going to become x minus 3 right here. Notice how they are both opposites. And be careful. A common mistake is to put the 3 here with the y. But that 3 is an x value. It belongs with the x. That 7 is a y value. It belongs with the y. So all we need now is uh, 4p. Well, p um, is the distance between the vertex and the directrix. So let's see. The x value here is 3. And um, the line is at 5. So between 3 and 5, that's 2. All right, so my p value is 2, or negative 2 to be precise. I can see that the uh, parabola is facing to the left. And that's actually going to make it a negative 2. So um, that's going to give us y minus 7 squared is equal to negative 8, not 16. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8 times x minus 3. And this will be the equation for number 4. Number 5. The vertex is at 4 comma negative 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 1. Here is the vertex. 
the directrix is at y equals negative 3. Now y equals is a horizontal line. So 1, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. All right, so here's my directrix, y equals negative 3. Well, I know the parabola has to be facing away from the directrix. The parabola is never going to cross the directrix, um, so it must be facing up, all right, away from the directrix. All right, with the parabola facing up, that tells me that it's going to be one of those <coughs> normal ones where the x is squared. <clears throat> and then I'll have 4p and then the y situation. Now the x is 4, so it's going to be minus 4. The y is negative 1, so it's going to be plus 1. I just need to know what p is. Um, so remember, once again, the p value is this gap, all right, which is 2. So as I substitute that p-value of 2 in there, then this is going to become 8. And I definitely want it to be a positive 8 because it is um, facing upward. And that is it for number 5. All right, here comes a sketch for number six. The focus is 0, 4. OK, <clears throat> 0, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. There is the focus. The directrix is y equals negative 2. Hmm. 1, 2. All right, y equals is this horizontal line. All right, now my vertex should be halfway between the focus and directrix. It should be right in the middle. So let's see, these are one, two, three, four, five, six apart. So if I go one, two, three, that should be dead center. <clears throat> so this is my vertex which is 0, 1. And uh, <clears throat> because I see the focus sitting there, I know the parabola is going to face in this direction. Now, because it's an upward facing parabola, this should be a normal one where the x is squared. And then I'll have 4p times y not squared. So based on the vertex here, <clears throat> the x uh, value is like plus 0. And uh, the y value, this is going to be minus 1 for that y value. That 0 is not doing anything, people. So that's just going to be x squared is equal to 4p times y minus 1. I need to know what the p-value is. <clears throat> the p-value is going to be the distance between the vertex and the directrix, which should be the same right here. 1, 2, 3. Okay, either way, it's a value of 3. So I'm going to take that 3 and plug it in. So that's going to give me x squared is equal to 12 times y minus 1. And that's it. That's the equation for number six. All right, just two more quick examples. Um, this has decimals in it. So let's do our sketch maybe a little more abstractly. So here I have the point 4.5 comma negative 5.5. So um, I'm just going to put it over here somewhere. So. This is the point 4.5 comma negative 5.5. The directrix is y equals 1.5.
So um, that's going to be right around in this area. Now, I know the vertex has to be halfway between the focus and the directrix. So it's going to be in here somewhere. Now, the x value <clears throat> should be the same as the focus. All right, they're lined up. So I know the x value is going to be 4.5. Right, they're both lined up to the right. But the y value, the y value should be halfway in between 1.5 and negative 5.5. In other words, the y value should be the average of these two. Okay, so let's see. If I do 1.5 plus negative 5.5 divided by 2. negative 2. So that tells me um, that the y value is negative 2. Okay, it was the average between these. So th there is my vertex. Um, I can already see that the uh, parabola is facing down. All right, it's got to be wrapped around the focus here. <clears throat> so because it's facing down, I know it's going to be a good old x squared problem. So I'm saying x minus uh, 4.5 squared. And then that's going to equal 4p times y plus 2. All right, it's the opposite of the y value. All that's left is I need the p value right here. And I'll be done. Well, remember, the p-value is the distance between um, the vertex and the uh, directrix. Or, all right, so that's p. Or you could look at the distance between the vertex and the focus. Either way. Um, either way, all you have to do is subtract. So say if I take these y-values. And so I could go negative 2 minus negative 5.5. That is 3.5. So um, that tells me that the p-value is 3.5. So I wonder what's 3.5 times 4. That is 14. Okay, so the number I'm going to have here is going to be a 14. And uh, only it's going to have to be a negative 14 because we're facing down. Maybe I should have called this p-value negative 3.5 in the first place. All right, because it's facing down. So the final answer is going to be... All right, this thing is in my way, but <clears throat> x minus 4.5 squared is equal to negative 14 times y plus 2. Let's do one more of these and end this video. So let's see. The focus is at negative 10 comma 20. All right, so here's the focus, which I like to do in green. And this is the point, negative 10, comma, 20. OK, and the directrix is x equals 110. All right, so I'll just put that over here. x equals is always a vertical line, so x equals 110. Sure, why not? Um, now, the uh, vertex has to be halfway between the focus and the directrix. 
Okay, it should be halfway in between. Um, so the y value is known. All right, the y value is the same as the focus. So I know I've got something comma 20. I just need to find the x value. I'm going to call this h because the vertex is always h comma k. So if I want to find this, and I have the two surrounding x value. This is an x value, and this is an x value. So if I want to find h, I just need to find the average of these two. So in other words, h should equal negative 10 plus 110 divided by 2. So that's 100 divided by 2. So that is 50. Now, keeping in mind that the parabola always wraps itself around the focus, all right, you see that we have a parabola going to the left. Um, that means that it's going to be one of those where the y value is squared. And see the y value of 20? So I'm going to have y minus 20, actually. And then 4p. And then see how the x value is 50? That'll be x minus 50. So my equation is shaping up. All I need is the p-value. Well, the p-value is, um, you can look at it as either um, the distance right here between the vertex and the directrix or the distance here between the uh, focus and the vertex. It should be the same thing. Um, from negative 10 to positive 50, that is a range of 60. And you can bet that it's going to be 60 uh, going the other way too. Okay, um, so that's my p value. So p is equal to 60. Uh, maybe I should say negative 60 because I see that it's facing to the left. Um, anyway, so if I put that in right here, 4 times negative 60, don't you know? That's negative 240. So my final answer is going to be y minus 20 squared is equal to negative 240 x minus 50. Here endeth the lesson.